Well, I, this is a complex uh, answer in a way when you try to... I know you saved, on cutting back on salt and pepper, you saved taxpayers $20,000, I read. $100,000. Because we have a lot of inmates and a lot of meals, but since then I've gone to two meals instead of three. So we do save money, but when you you tie in the structure and the payment, payment of your officers. So when I talk about saving money is like the food costs. Uh, ex exact. Well, that uh, that was something that didn't cost much, <clears throat> but when you put up a tent city, uh, which I did in 1993, and build a jail of Korean War tents, well, you can really see 150,000 dollars to put up a jail versus uh, 70 million dollars, because nobody says. Uh, you have to put them in tents. That was my idea. Uh, so you save money that way. Our costs have gone up. Our food, it makes me very angry. Uh, now it's up to about 45 cents a meal. It was 30. And that's bologna, either bologna or peanut butter? Is that what you serve? Well, if we get brunch, uh, I know after church you go to a, a hotel and they have brunch, a combination. So I decided to do that in the jail. So we give them a nice uh, peanut butter, which is nice, uh, or a bologna sandwich, a nice orange that we go to California. Uh, we bring our trucks out here to California. We load up the excess uh, fruits and vegetables that the farmers want to throw away, and I truck it back. I've had a little problem coming here with the trucks because on the trucks I have big signs. Uh, if you know any illegal aliens, call my hotline. So I have a little problem in California, but I have, at least in the streets of Maricopa County, I have the signs because I fight the illegal immigration problem, too. So, Does that make you a racist? Well, I'm an equal opportunity guy. I lock everybody up, so I'm not a racist. So... <laughs> What else? I hate that word. It's thrown around so much I thought I would throw it at you because everyone else does, right? So, <laughs> so I get asked that all the time, and everybody says, just say no. Okay, no, I'm not. But uh, Why do you get called a racist for doing your job? Isn't it just, if there's a word illegal attached to anything, isn't it your job to handle that? That's what's so confusing. Yeah, what is, is confusing with me, too, when we raid uh, businesses, we're the only ones doing that. Uh, you know, I raided McDonald's and Payway and Sizzler. I can't even go to a restaurant anymore. But the thing is, I'm glad my wife is a good cook. So I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, but when they can't get you on, on this, they have to then throw the race card in. I mean, that's why the Department of Justice believes the garbage that they are here. MPs, they want to believe it. And that's why they're taking me to court. That's why the ACLU has sued me. I have another decision coming out quickly from a federal judge on racial profile. So they have to go to the racial profile slash racist. My people are not racist. My deputies, they do not racial profile. I've said that over and over. And I'm going to keep saying it regardless if, if there's a decision that comes out from the federal courts. I'm going to just appeal it. I'm not going to give in. I'm going to take this up to the Supreme Court uh, because we don't. it's not fair uh, to call us racist and uh, demean my deputies uh, just because you don't like the uh, enforcement of illegal immigration.